Welcome back to our Road to Nebula here in BO6 Zombies. And in our last video, our top comment was from Golden, saying that they want us to get the combat knife done on Terminus. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Kinda. So as you can tell here, we are not on Terminus. We're on Liberty Falls because I wanna go ahead and try to get this thing gold while we complete the Easter egg. And I'm gonna do this Easter egg until we either complete it or get gold. And the reason why I wanna do that is because Golden, you know, love you buddy but you did edit the comment before i had the idea to go ahead and do this for the video so you try to rug pull us a little bit there but i'll make a deal with you if we can get the easter egg done before we end up getting the knife gold i'll go over to terminus and maybe try to get the easter egg done there but i really don't know all the steps quite yet and let's be real i don't think i can get it done with the knife there i don't even know if i can get it done with the knife here but we're gonna try and in case you're not aware of what the challenges are for the knife since every weapon in this game is getting critical kills obviously we can't get critical kills with the knife at least not that i know of but the challenges are just to get to 2,000 kills with this weapon and i paid attention to the special challenges this time and i actually read them and for the special camo challenges we need to get some amount of kills with brain rot so maybe i didn't read them fully and then we also need to kill some armored zombies so on paper challenges don't look too bad but if i've learned anything so far from trying to grind camos in this game anything on paper that looks easy is not but i was uh, a little concerned you know you guys uh, always trying to give me the bad weapons to do in zombies i you know i've learned my lesson ever since cold war but melee weapons in this game i have not had the best opinion of especially with like melee macchiato I don't really have that like leveled up or researched yet. So I have that as the thing I'm researching going into this game. But melee weapons seem incredibly risky to use in this. Like I feel like I'm gonna lose a lot of health every time I go to try to hit zombies on any respectable round, which seems to happen a lot faster in this game. So I wanna get over to pack a punch as fast as possible and try to get our damage up. But we also need to start doing some steps here. Let's knock that off. Uh, we can look for the valve in a minute. Oh, look at this. It's already a two-hit kill on round four. Lame. At least it's dropping a good amount of salvage, like, per kill. It's almost like every other kill, it seems like. But I do have a little bit of a plan here. I'm using Frenzied Guard, and I have some augments on here that will hopefully help me with getting melee kills. Uh, it should increase the durability of my armor. You know that, or I'm thinking my Jug Augment. And just the length of using my field upgrades should be longer than normal. And on top of that, speaking of the jug upgrades, I do have the turtle shell upgrade, so I don't take damage when my back is facing zombies. So I'm gonna try to use that to my advantage if I can remember it. Let's make our way up here. And do we have enough to get melee macchiato right away? Nope, we're broke. Give me some money, zombies. There we go. Give me that, and hopefully we don't lose this. Tastes like coffee made with shit. That tastes like coffee made with shit. How do you know what that tastes like, Weaver? What are you eating? But just grabbing that perk has made it so our knife is now back to a one-hit kill, even without any upgrades so far. But I did just take an insane amount of damage right there. I actually have more health than I thought I did, but the whole, like, sound effect that comes on when you're low health and, you know, you hear your heart beating really gets me to start to run away you know duck for cover so let's go ahead and get this to green that could help out a little bit and i know we need brain rot later for our special kills but i'm trying to think what ammo mod would be good for a melee weapon because back in cold war you know you could use shatter blast and that would help out a lot for those jackrabbit medals that were required for getting camos back in the day but what could be better maybe cryo freeze i can like slow the horde down and you know get away heal up a little bit easier but i'm really not sure oh and a max ammo very useful very helpful it'll be nice to get like a full power from that i guess we can just go ahead and open this up even if we don't have enough for pack a punch yet and activate the generator and get this easter egg underway what's up panos oh did you get trapped in the dark ether your problem ain't unique to you buddy people get dark trapped in the dark ether every day sarah mclaughlin probably has a commercial about it let's go ahead and go out here and start getting some kills so we can see if we can get the groundskeeper to spawn because once that groundskeeper shows up we can grab his key and start building the jet gun so we can get some of these other steps done it's gonna be very tedious i feel like i have to get a, a hit and then run immediately hit and then move actually let's go ahead and try out our frenzy guard on this horde i can't even swing my frenzy guard while i have my wand in my hand which is really dumb don't like that 
Not a big fan of that option, but we are kind of messing these guys up. We're basically invincible while Frenzy Guard's active and we have armor equipped. And how much is it to get tier three armor? 14,000? Come on. We can lower the price, can't we? Because armor is going to be super important today. Oh, there we go. Onto our desert camo, 200 kills. We just need to... Uh... You know, add a, a zero to the end of that. We need to move that a decimal place. Our groundskeeper has not showed up yet. Bro is not keeping the ground. Guess I'll go grab Pack-A-Punch while we're waiting for you to come do your job. And what's this looking like? Uh, still not the biggest fan of this uh, first Pack-A-Punch camo. And I saw something, I think it was either like on Twitter or Reddit, something like that, where somebody was saying that what they were going for with this camo was the fall leaves, which would make sense. Like if you guys have seen the intro cinematic to... Uh, Liberty Falls. You get to see like the beautiful change of colors on all the trees. And I, I can kind of see it. I I can almost see what they're going for, but it really just looks like beans. Maybe they should adjust it. But the other pack of bunch camos on this map look pretty good. Okay, am I doing this wrong? Why hasn't our groundskeeper showed up? Do I need to get kills with a gun or something? Or is it kills specifically around this? I'm already messing these steps up and we're going to get too high in a round. Oh, there he is. There's our guy. Get fucked. Let me grab that key. Well, let's get moving. I should probably stop uh, accelerating the rounds here. I'll just take a few more zombies out. And we'll get moving. And let's grab our first part to the jet gun. Gimme. Oh, look at Mr. Peaks here in the car. I, I saw this earlier when I was hunting for the Easter egg earlier with Philly and uh, Mystery HQ. And we blew up the car and Mr. Peaks did a little laugh, but I don't really know what it does yet. It's just kind of here. So I'm thinking maybe we don't need to blow up the car and we need to do something else with it. Someone will figure it out. But we're going to need this valve here and another gobble gum. Do you something useful, please? Oh, shields up. Perfect. We need to upgrade our shields, though. We also need to get jug. going to be very important for us today. And let's start looking at opening up that vault as well, because we could use some extra loot from it. So our first number is 49. 49 blank 44. Or is that another 49? The fours and nines look pretty similar in whatever font they're using. I think that's two fours. But I guess while we're here, uh, let's throw a quick decoy and see if we can up the water pressure. So another one, go away, scram. There's a mangler coming too. We just need to get as much done with this water pressure as we can. But let's activate our shields up. Let's throw a shield in. Let's activate our frenzied guard, go for the mangler. Take him out first. Ooh, that's a one shot, that was nice. Oh, we got a Mangler Cannon, too, if we can actually pick it up. And a Golden Key, I think I saw. Okay. A Self Revive on the ground, too? If only I could stow, stow that away. Get some Modern Warfare Zombies action going. Right, give me that. Give me that. Let's uh, get this round down a little bit. So these guys can leave me the hell alone. What? What? The round ended, but there's still zombies left? It's because they're coming after this thing, aren't they? Come on. Let's just get it done before even more zombies spawn in. Keep cracking the knuckles. This is exactly how I turn my valves at home. There we go. Oh, and all the zombies die when you finish it. That's good to know. I'll be taking that. And we just need the wires now. And we got the Mangler Cannon to do it. We're actually making pretty good progress on this Easter egg. Let's bring this bad boy out and open sesame. Thank you. We just gotta grab all these wires. Oh, we got it first try. Should, am I speed running? Should I just speed run this? Might as well grab all this. Um, 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 let me out. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, zombies. Let's check this really quick. What's this number? 48. So 49, 48, 44 out of 40s. Let's see if we got it right. 40. Oh, wait. Probably better to go this way. 49, 48, 44. Let's go. Why am I having such an immaculate run? Actually, I'm not. This run's okay. It's it's all right. Camo curse. I I don't want no problems. I'm just trying to get this done. What we got out of that? Oh, my. A legendary knife and jug. Is it worth it? Yeah, I think so, actually. We only have it pack one. Oh, it doesn't look cool anymore. It doesn't have my blueprint. Actually, why doesn't it have my blueprint? Should I not automatically apply that? This would never happen in Cold War. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's put this together. The fastest builder in the West. Gimme. Now that we have the jet gun, what are the steps? Why am I blanking? Come on. We're on a generational run here. We're 67305 with 425 speed. We cannot waste this talent. Let's grab brain rot. Let's head in here. Uh, there's a hat here that we can grab from the daddy. Now, where are the other two? Oh, I probably should have pack a punch balls over there. 
But you know what? I needed the indigestion gobble gum. So I think one of the parts is in here. I keep hitting the wrong thing. Let's go ahead and grab it. Thank you. But I do not remember where the last part to the LTG is. I know I have to use the jet gun to get it, but I don't remember where at. Oh, I remember. It's right over here. Okay. Just gotta make a quick little jump onto here. Bring out the jet gun and grab this through the window. There we go. That is all of them. Now, find a good workspace to put it together. Sure thing, Panos. Who up jerkin' they Panos? Sorry, Jorkin. Let's slap this bad boy together. Goddamn music, be louder, please. Gimme. And now I think I need to go grab a canister back in the dark aether. But let's grab a canister, right? That's what we do. Yep. Let's place it here. Where is our HVT at? Does it spawn right? Oh no, we have to defend it. I forgot about that part. Just cannot let anything get into it, which is going to be a little tough with this. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. No. Oh, I think we got it. Cool. I'm going to go kill this mangler before our other HVT spawns. Oh, Lukey. And we got an abomination. Not good. I mean, yes, good, because that's what we need, but not good because he's probably going to beat my ass. Let's see if we can do any damage to him. Oh, that's actually not bad damage, but he's hitting us right back for a lot more. Maybe I can get another shields up. Come here. Let's get you nice and low. Get you warmed up. Have a Tommy. Maybe two. He's about half health. Uh, I think we're good to use the trap. Activate. Get the canisters down. Oh, Weaver. You know what? Did we just become best friends? I can't believe I didn't kill Peck yet either. Did we get it? Did it kill him? What? How did he die? If not from the trap. Lame. Oh, we have to go back and restart it. That was perfect. The game screwed me. That was very well executed. Give me another one. How do I get another one? Oh, anywhere but here. I probably actually could have gotten away with that. That is not anywhere but here. That is pretty damn close to here. I was in the same building. Can I can't do this now. There we go. Spawn in the abomination. Let's get this over with. Oh shit. Let me out. Go. Oh. He's low enough. Activate this. Let's throw that down. Let's see if that can kill him. I don't know if it's enough yet. But he's getting there. Let's weaken him. Come on. No, he knocked me. Please just out of the trap, though. Yeah, stay there and yell. Go into the two. Perfect. Gimme. We don't have that much time. I also need to get another self-revive at some point. Maybe uh, they'll be nice enough and drop me one. But we're leaking. My canister is leaking. Let's toss it in here. And give me the Strauss counter. I hate this part. I could not actually figure out how to get this done. I think I got it done by accident when we were doing it earlier. Now, what I think supposed to happen is that you pull out the Strauss counter. You know, it tells you the strength of whatever source is near here. And then you got to set the, the button on there to match the color. So ours said medium. We're putting that to medium. But from my experience, uh, it looks like at least one of the projectors that you turn on is always wrong. Like the, the, the counter is wrong. So you got to set them all to what it's actually like or like what the, the thing around it is. Whatever the Strauss counter is telling you. And then go to each individual one and change it until it works. Now, did that not make any sense to you? Because it didn't make any sense to me either. We're free balling. But they got to have something good for me in here. Help me out last time. Help me again. That shot actually, you know what? Probably do a little extra damage with this. Oh, and we still have Jug in here that we can come back for later, even though we didn't pick it up last time. That's cool. That's good to know. Okay, what we got here? Low. So we'll put that to low. And we got one more to get, but I need to buy that self-revive before I forget. Bars. Gimme. Also, uh, give me the mutant injection. We're probably going to end up needing that later. And I think using the mutant injection might actually help us level up our melee macchiato faster. So we just need melee kills while we have melee macchiato active to help with our research. And I'm pretty sure the mangler should count. If not then whatever we tried it but i got a feeling that'll work but we gotta break down this barrier and there's one more projector right here this one's also low we set that up and i never did this part on my own philly always came over here and interacted with whatever we needed to interact with to activate it but i don't think whatever we did was right we still need to switch at least one other projectors i think it's whatever one's on medium we just need to set the high at least that's my theory. And do I need to pick this back up? 
Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. We can do that while uh, I think about how we're going to do the projector still. Actually, we are very close to getting pack two. Let's just get enough real quick. Abomination, you want to be our last kill to get pack two? I think you do. I just can't stop spitting. There you go, buddy. Make it nice and easy for me. Pack two, how do you do? Can I not grab another canister? I don't want to do another one of those steps if I don't got the canister to pick up the HVT. So much for our speed run. I'm kind of just wandering now. Well, let's just set this to high. See if anything happens. Nope. What if we place this down? Yep. And we got to defend it. But the easiest way to defend it, this is my theory. Let's go ahead and do the dance Easter egg over here. I probably should have done this first. They're probably going to blow that thing up. We got to look at the cheerleader zombie over here that's dancing. Wait for the thing to stop. Music has started. Oh, it's very close to blowing up. Uh, uh, where is she? Where is she? Where are you hiding? There you are. Come on, start it. That portal beam is taking a beating. Get on Come on. Team. React. Let's go. Oh, that would have been very smart if someone else was doing this. I should have started it beforehand. Because now we don't even have any zombies to be distracted by this whole thing. Because they got the dance party going on over there. And the zombies are supposed to all wind up going on top of this bus and start dancing. And I don't think it's like Cold War where you get like a perk for it. At least not that I've seen. Ooh, even the mangler. He was a mid-shot about to hit me and he started busting down. Ah, uh, he's hitting the shmurda. I guess I can get a few free kills here. They don't mind. Would have been a lot better if the plan went how I intended. You guys saw the vision, right? Let's go ahead and try this again. Come on. Ooh. All right, we're good. And we're at 600 kills. What's up, Mangler? Ooh, we can actually do a lot more damage to you a lot faster than that Abomination. But now we need a canister again. Is it going to let me pick it up or no? Can I please have a canister? How am I supposed to fill this thing up? I'm lost. All right, game, you got me. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess we already have him here. You might as well just kill him with it and see what happens. Night, night, little guy. Oh, shit. Well, did it wrong anyways. This step don't make any sense to me. You know what? The projector step? Pissing me off. I'm going to do the Mr. Peaks Easter egg real quick. We got to shoot all these shoes. We had one there at the gas station. Another one right here. Next one's in the house right under this chair. And I think the one that I missed earlier, I could not find. There's some hanging from a tree behind the map somewhere. Behind this church. Oh, is that it? Yep. And our last one is here in the funeral home on top of the casket. That should work. Let's go. I'm so glad they're bringing back Mr. Peak's Easter eggs. Oh, he actually looks so big from back here. That forced perspective. What's up, dude? Oh, wait, what's the score? We have to bowl? How do we bowl? Oh, I see. Give me that. This is sick. We actually get the bowl. Do I get to hit zombies for it too? I'm fully charging it up and we're throwing it down. Ooh, I don't like that speed. We're granny rolling it. Well, that's a kick in the nuts. Yeah, it definitely is, Weaver. How did, how did I do that? Oh, I have to step into a nice follow through, but the zombies are blocking it. Okay, we definitely don't want to hit the zombies. All right, we're going to get better at this. We're going to learn. They're trying to block it actively. This is open. Wide open. Ooh. At least it's not a split. Let's do it again. Get the spare. No! Come on. Last one. Got it. We gotta go right down this lane. Asshole blocked it. This one's open though. Ooh. This is way tougher than it looks. On last lane. What's up, Mr. Peaks? We can go back to this one. Oh. Come on. I wonder if we can just kill them all. And no more will come back. Oh, did we get a strike on that lane? We're crazy. That's two. Keep him going. What a fun Easter egg. Ah, only 14 seconds left. Can you get this one? Give me my next ball. There we go. Oh, every zombie's in this lane now. Come on. Damn. We only had one lane of pins left. I'm sorry, Mr. Peaks. I failed you. You're looking nice, though. I'm looking good, dude. What do we get for that? What is this? A trophy? My guy. Could have been some better loot, but you know what? Better than nothing, I guess. Look at everybody chilling here. This is like Wii Sports with all the Mies in the background. Oh, I should have seen what happened if I threw it backwards. What if they all jumped and spinned? Now it's back to the cruel reality 
I'm getting this done. What if we do this? What if we set these all to the opposite of what it says on the scanner? That one was low, so we set it to high. This one is medium, so we'll just keep it the same. And this one is low, so we'll put this one to high. If this doesn't work, I, I'm out of options. I've just been sitting here going back and forth, hitting the switches, and nothing's okay. happening. Okay, it worked. Thank God. Give me that canister. Let's also use our shield gobble gum again. And now we can spawn in that HVT. What's up, buddy? Let's lower your health. You know the drill. Maybe one more. That should do it. Let's drop our canister right here. And activate the trap. Come on. Why is this doing no damage to him? I don't want to hit him again. It's going to kill him if I hit him again. Maybe I just used uh, my shotgun a little bit. Just rough him up. I gotta get him low enough till I hear the voice line. There we go. And it ended. Nice. Cool. I need to sit here and wait for the whole thing to recharge. And we're almost around 25. This is uh, gonna be a little difficult to get done. Oh, there we go. It's ready. There you go. Into the canister with you. And we're getting close to getting done with this. There you go, Panos. Take it back. All nice and filled up for you. Now I think if we touch it, it starts the boss fight. Yes, yeah, so we need to make sure that we're ready to go. I need to get armor level three for sure. Gimme. Oh, flavorless gobble gum. All right, we'll go into this without a gobble gum. Start it up. Let's see if we can survive this. If we really need it, we have our mutant injection, but I'm gonna save that for the final boss in here. Oh, we got a mangler in here. I need to take care of him sooner rather than later. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, we can one-shot him. These manglers got a weak chin. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh, and they dropped a mangler cannon on the ground. I could pick that up and kill a few of these guys with it, but honestly, we don't need to. Let's just use our friends and guard and clear them. Night-night zombies. Yeah. Dude, this is so clean. We just cleared that phase. Send your worst. Whatever your worst is, I promise you it ain't enough. I'm too good. Ooh, and we're at 800 kills. So we still basically need to double the amount of kills that we got right now. Oh, is that an HVT? Is that really all you guys got? You're having aid. Thin the herd a bit. And this should take him out. Nope. He's actually a little bit stronger than I thought. Okay, you know what? I'll give you your credit. You're not a one-shot kill. Can't say the same for the rest of you zombies. Oh, okay. All right. I might be a little bit of a one-shot kill. Not cool. Not cool game. We're going to cashmere. See if I can't get a frenzied. Or at least get close to one. Mess him up while he's shooting his laser. And I don't have melee macchiato anymore. Not good. We might have to use our mangler thing sooner than I would like to. Unless we can just throw another cashmere and clear this. Come on. Go down. Without melee macchiato, it's actually hurting us a lot. I can't believe that didn't stay as our first perk. This should be the end of them. Let's go. Oh, we don't have PhD either anymore. Can't throw nades at my feet. But that should be the wave, right? Yep. Get a nice max ammo as a reward. I think just making it to this final phase, we should be good. We just gotta wait for that abomination to spawn. And we can mess him up with our mangler. All we really gotta do is train slightly. Get him just a little bit lined up. And then hit him with a nice tomahawk. Oh shit, we hit level 55. You can prestige now. Oh, there's our abomination, buddy. What's going on, pal? Why don't you uh, meet my mangler? Emphasis on meat. Oh, we actually might be able to get pack a bunch three if we can just kill all these guys right here. Might be able to get enough money. Yeah, yell. Ain't nobody coming to help you here in the aether. See you later. That should be everything, right? Like you're just gonna throw us a few more zombies our way and then we're chilling. We're just too good. It worked, just like you said it would. It did work, didn't it? Uh, you're welcome. What the Alpha fuck? Team, I'll copy. Somebody tell me what just happened. Uh, Blanchard, I'm coming in the Any middle of something here. What is your status? This dude's force ghost is about to do something crazy to me. Them. I swear. I'll... No interruptions for this next part. What? He's giving me the the super slurp from the aether. He still kind of dripped friend, out. How is that? How is that still so clean? How you keep that clean in the aether? Parlance, thank you for being now I'm a ghost. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a few scores to settle. All right, well, I guess I'll see you later, buddy. Dark Enjoy your way out the aether prolapse. And now we have the option to continue playing or quit. I'm going to continue because we're already kind of set up here. I'm going to see if I can get to round 30 in Xfil. Ooh, flawless crystal? Gimme. Like I'll also take all these. Boinous points. Why he sound like that? Now let's just try to rack up some kills here. 
Exfil and then make our way to Terminus to try to get the rest. What? You can spawn up there and shoot a laser? That's not fair. You are camping, sir. Why can I not use this? This is literally my trial to use this. Hello? I can't use it with a knife out, maybe? Nope. Can't use it with anything. So my trial is to get kills with our artillery strike. I'm not allowed to use it. You just not use it when abominations are out? I feel like they're trying to make it like anti-cheese on the abominations. Give me one reason why I can't use it. Go ahead. Enlighten me, game. No! Damn, he slapped me off the goddamn building. Well, maybe going down and getting back up, it'll let me uh, use this. Nope. Wishful thinking. So lame. I got scammed on this trial. I think after completing the Easter egg, it still thinks you're in the Dark Aether. But even then, I could still use my Mangler in the Dark Aether. I just can't use any score streaks now. Lame. No! We just got blasted. Why am I spectating? I will respawn next round. Who's in my game? Is this Hero Brian? Oh, this is actually bullshit. They better not make me leave. Or can I save and quit? Nope. Save is available at full health and when there's no active exfil. Save and quit unavailable. Match will resume when the tire expires. Timer expires. Whoa. I'm spectating myself. I'm still alive, but I'm not. Well, I guess while we're waiting for this timer to run out, uh, you might be noticing this little beanie thing that I got on right here. New merch. Go ahead and uh, look in the description. We got a bunch of stuff, you know, hoodies, shirts, beanies mouse pads if you're interested link in the description here we go moment of truth five four three two one expired nothing changed i waited all that time for nothing i don't want to leave the game and lose all my like research towards my my melee macchiato i'm gonna be pissed if i've lost all that because i have a thousand two hundred ninety five eliminations a good amount of those with the knife weapon stats what oh may wait huh Neither of these are right. Okay. What happens if I leave? If you're host, the game will end. Only thing I can do, I guess. I just waited here for nothing. Okay. Let's see how much more difficult this is over here. Honestly, I thought it was going to be way harder on Liberty Falls to get done, but we made it through and did the Easter egg. So maybe I was uh, not given the knife enough credit. Give me a gobble, and I actually threw in a few different gobble gums from just the normal rares. But of course, we only get the normal rare rares jeez but i think i have one in there that's supposed to get my weapon all the way up to legendary that will help us set up a little bit faster because we got some kills to get maybe now give me it Ooh, idle eyes please don't activate immediately thank you that should really help us with getting kills later oh wait this is gonna be interesting how am i gonna take these guys out with a knife come here Okay, maybe I just don't have to jump. I'm overthinking it. And something I noticed while using these melee weapons and that I really appreciate compared to uh, Modern Warfare 3 zombies is that there isn't any lunge with the melees, at least not that I'm noticing. Like, I can really control where I want to attack and not just be, like, you know, sucked into a zombie that's already swinging at me, making them even worse to use. But honestly, melees are a lot better than I thought they'd be. We're kind of cooking with them. It actually feels like swatting a fly in the house and it's just getting away from you. Come here. Stop. No. He keeps dodging. Got you now. Now we'll get the gobble gum we're looking for. Oh, we finally got it. Let's go. Get this to legendary. Does it work? Oh, let's go. That's sick. Saves us so much salvage. It does seem to lunge a little bit at crawlers, though. But that's not too bad. Oh, an amalgamation. Okay. I did not think about fighting one of these guys with a melee. Oh. Didn't even have to. Immediately went down. I guess the insta-kill plus legendary helped out a lot. Oh, damn it. There goes my self-revive. Lame. I cannot throw this game if we used our, our nice gobble gum. Ain't no way. All right, now how am I doing against amalgamation without insta-kill going on? Oh, he's still a three-hit kill. And so am I. God damn it. Let's try to put our augment for melee macchiato to the test. It's supposed to give us boosted speed when backpedaling after meleeing. I don't know if it's a melee kill or just meleeing. I think it might be a kill. Ooh. Is that enough to just get away from the hit? So we really don't have to focus too much on the, the backing up ourselves? Oh, uh, I don't know. Still gonna hit a good amount. Oh, motherfuck, dude. I got sniped. I'm going through these self revives too fast. Got a decoy. Or don't. What? Okay. I don't like that. Oh! 1,500 kills. We need 500 more. And then we can start working on our special camos. Still so many kills to get. Damn. Now, let me get the last of these kills here. How far away are we? These camos take forever to get. 2,000 kills in this game is insane. 
Oh my Lanta, that's another down. How many is that now? I'll give you your answer. Too many. I think we might have already reached the limit for self revives. Can I get another one? Hold on. Or decoy. Oh no, we can still get it. Oh wait. No, we can't. It won't let us craft anymore. Uh, we might have to get lucky and get one from a trial. That sucks. I just realized there's a secondary swing. Is this even useful? What does this do? Will I do more damage? You know what? Now's the perfect time to find, figure it out. Nope. Awesome. Glad I tried that. At least we get a cool animation and go right into the Amalga bussy. Oh, damn, dude. You don't need to break my arms before eating me. That's messed up. We had 1,130 kills there. Still don't have my camo or did I miss it? Oh, we have 50 more kills to get. This is ridiculous. All right. I guess if we're gonna look at the positive side of this, we got another augment. We can attack faster and punch can one hit and kill normal enemies for more rounds. Don't care actually, because we're not even punching. Well, you know why we've been having such bad luck? I haven't attempted my dunk this game. Yeah. Oh, I gotta just charge that nade a little sooner and that would've been clean. That would have been perfect. Gotta have the nade out before I jump. Come on, where's that camo at? Oh, there it is, right on cue, purple tiger. Now we just need kills with brain rot and armored zombie kills and then our kills rapidly for gold and then we're done. The hard part's over. Now I wonder if the brain rot kills are me getting a zombie brain rotted and then that zombie has to get the kills or me just getting kills while having brain rot equipped. I guess we're gonna find out sooner rather than later. All right, I gotta drain this one. Ooh. Great defense. Very close. Oh, that actually scared me so bad. Oh, and I don't have a self revive. God damn, dude. Yeah. Oh, let's go. 300 eliminations with brain rot equipped. Now we just need our armored zombie kills. Do any of you guys have armor? Why do none of you guys have armor all of a sudden? Come on. That's all I need. It's round 18. You guys haven't upgraded yourselves? You should be ashamed. Now, this has got to be where we get our armor kills done depending on how many we need. But I got a frenzy guard right here and a full power sitting right next to me. Should be able to knock a good amount of this out. Oh, and a double points. They are spoiling me. Let's do it again. It's just so satisfying sitting here and clicking and everything just falling and dying. Oh, but there's our armored zombie kills. Huge lag spike there, even more. Now we just need our kills rapidly. One frenzied guard should just help us get at least half of them. All right, come on. Let's get this camo done. There's way too many zombies here for this not to be a rapid kill of 10 or more. And we got to be getting close to getting all of them done. There's a level up. Ooh, I just really need that augment that helps me heal with melee macchiato every time I get a melee kill. Oh, it would have been nice right there. Ooh, and I'm out of uh, being able to buy self revives. Common theme with the melees. Please do not let me die before I get this gold. I will be pissed. I don't understand why my health is taking so much damage whenever I get hit and not my armor. It's like my armor is just there for show. How was that? What the shit? I've never seen that happen before. Why is the power flickering? They did they, they disabled the elevator for what? Why? I'm so confused. What's even happening? What is that? Don't start throwing some crazy ass boss at me or some random shit. I don't even got to self revive anymore. Actually, what the hell? Oh, we just got gold. Holy shit. Thank God. The camos in this game take deceivingly long to get. I guess that's whatever. Let's go out in a blaze of glory. I just want to get one more frenzied guard. And then I'm going to stand in one spot and see how long we can survive. I don't think it's going to be long. All right, where are we going to do this at? Let's go to the elevator. See if it explodes on us. And frenzy guard time. See how many zombies we can get. Oh, Brain Rot's in here helping us too? That's actually perfect. Or maybe not. They're kind of blocking everything. But it's going to wear off pretty soon here. And we're still surviving somehow. I'm just swinging as fast as I can. Keep it going. 
or don't. I don't understand though, because right there when I died, I felt like I had a decent amount of armor. Why would I get hit? Does it not affect my armor? I don't understand. Either way, we got gold, so let's go take a look at it. All right, this is what our mystic gold looks like on our knife and ain't she a beaut. It actually looks so nice. I love the pattern for mystic gold. It reminds me of uh, like Damascus, but it looks pretty nice. The matte black as a secondary color, the full gold, and then the little squiggles going through it. Pretty good. But uh, also, Treyarch, if you're out there, please fix private matches. It shouldn't uh, immediately forfeit and end the game in a private match if I'm just trying to, you know, get a few screenshots. Like, come on now. Well, there you have it. We went ahead and got our combat knife done while completing the Easter egg on Liberty Falls. And I think I underestimated the melee weapons. But you guys can go ahead and leave a comment down below of what weapon you want to see me do next. The top comment will be the weapon that we do in the next video. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. And I will see you in the next one. Later.